Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to make a rope bridge. This is a relatively simple project. Uh, it takes a little bit of finesse to work with all of the glue and string, but um, overall, I think it turns out very well and it's a fun one to see on the table. Uh, it looks kind of deceptively fragile. Uh, it can be supported on either end with uh, terrain and it will hold the weight of miniatures pretty easily. So let's go to the table and see how it's done. To start, we're using medium weight graphics chipboard and cutting off uh, some basic shapes of the ends of the bridge. These are just gonna be the flat portions that sit on top of whatever train element um, that the rest of the bridge will be built off from. Taking a chunk of wire, bending it in half and spooling it up on a drill and then cutting it to length, just bending uh, the curve of the bridge into that wire, and then putting some boards down so that it has something to rest on while it's gluing. Just getting the shape and bend just right. Using some hot glue, just kind of pull it onto the ends of the wire. This will adhere it to those end sections. And we're going to just keep pouring that hot glue in, kind of forming some texture and terrain as well onto the ends of that graphics chipboard. Using the hot glue then to put in some texture as it cools so that it has kind of a ground texture. I'm using a razor saw to cut some balsa wood for the um, upright poles for the supports of the rope bridge. If you had more appropriately sized wood, you could start with that. Um, I had these big blocks, so I ended up just kind of whittling away what I needed to. Using some hot glue, just gluing those poles on. We have the larger poles, which will be the uprights for the ropes for the bridge, and then kind of the anchor poles for the back side of the bridge as well. Now just using some kind of rough twine string that I have, um, I'm using white glue, kind of gluing it into place around the poles, and then using glue, I'm kind of wrapping it around the poles and the wire in kind of a zigzag fashion, really coating the whole thing in the white glue. The white glue will make the string very rigid and firm when it dries. Just coating the whole thing in glue with that zigzag pattern. Once that dries, you can start gluing on the planking. I'm just using balsa wood sheets and just kind of cutting it into the right size planking that I'm going to need for the bridge. Using hot glue to attach the planking just so that it's easy. You could use uh, tacky glue or white glue. Um, tacky glue would probably be a little bit better just so it hold it in place. I used hot glue just so that I have um, a quick turnaround on this, but it's probably easier with tacky glue. I put the boards all the way onto the ground um, just to kind of simulate you know, that it would be trafficked around there. Now using white glue and kind of coating the entire end in glue, pouring some sand on to give it the texture that I was looking for, kind of a rocky hill cliffside texture. Then giving it a quick coat of black spray paint. Once that's dry, then we can start the actual painting process. Using a dark chocolatey brown to do a pretty thick dry brush over the entire piece. And coming in with a more golden brown and picking off the, the boards and a little bit of a highlight on the stones as well. 
including the undersides. And I'm coming in with a more of a khaki color for the rope. And then just highlighting some of the stones with a, a very light dry brush of gray. Adding a really fine dry brush of a, a light tan just kind of adds a weathered look to the whole piece. Um, the boards are kind of weathered and used pretty heavily. Then I'm using some white glue to dab on some dots and put on some static grass. If you wanted to do some other you know, vegetation or not vegetation, you could put rocks or anything on those ends. I decided to do it more of a jungle themed rope bridge. And there's the finished product. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button down below. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.